Hello everyone. Well, it's the 1st of November, so I've dug out one of my woolly pullies from the back of the wardrobe because the weather's getting a bit colder now, isn't it? Soon be Christmas, can you believe it? We've just had Halloween yesterday. I spent yesterday evening right at the top of the house with my blind closed and just my tiny little television on with all the lights off in the house and I only had one person ringing the doorbell. So a result, a result for me. So it's vacuum of the month time and this is the penultimate vacuum of the month. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using in November and December will definitely be the last in this series. I'm going to think about doing something new for the first of the month for the year 2019, but it won't be vacuum of the month. Um, I've enjoyed it. Some of you have enjoyed it, but I think it's time to do something different. Um, because as I've said before, it's a bit restricting using just one vacuum for the whole month. And sometimes if I pick a vacuum I don't like very much, it's, uh, it's a little bit wearing, you know. So vacuum of the month for November is over there. I'll reveal that to you soon. But let's discuss this month's, well, the last month's, October's vacuum of the month, which if you watched last month's video, you'll know it was the Henri allergy and here it is now ooh, we're going to see how much Henry has picked up I'm going to weigh the dirt like I do in every video he's been okay to be quite honest now I did show you all the additional tools I was going to use this month but for most of the time I ended up just using bog standard Henry allergy with the tools that it comes with I didn't use the stair uh, cleaning hose very much either because what I found, I could actually clean the entire flight of stairs, well, all but one step, with Henry safely on the bottom in the hallway. But it does actually reach, if you leave, I've actually got the aero brush on. I haven't used the aero brush very much, just two or three times. Normally I've been using the standard nozzle, which has been fine, but we had a couple of extra dogs staying with us this week, and one of them, was molting all over the place so I did need a bit of extra help so I did actually use the turbo brush but it does add to the noise level a bit it doesn't um, but it's easy to push but it makes it a lot noisier but anyway normally I've had the regular head on and I've managed to clean most of my stairs by angling it this way and going up the stairs and it does actually reach nearly to the top I have used the stair cleaning hose a couple of times when I wanted to you know do all the edges when I showed you the stair cleaning hose in the previous video, I showed you the stretchy one that stretches up to nine meters. I'm not sure what I've done with that, but I didn't use that in the end. I used the other one that I said I had, but couldn't find. Now I thought this was a five meter hose. This is more like a regular Henry hose. This is actually a four meter and it does just about reach up to the top of the stairs. But if you want a bit of extra leeway, you can get a five meter one. I would recommend buying a five meter one of these if you really want to uh, clean your stairs thoroughly with uh, Henry safely at the bottom. I also use this for all my nooks and crannies. I used this hose when I was cleaning all my Venetian blinds. I've cleaned nearly all the Venetian blinds in the house. I don't think I did my bedroom. I also used it when I was cleaning the top of the cupboards in the kitchen. It was very useful. I had to use a step ladder and then uh, direct the hose and I got loads of muck out lots of um, deep down dirt that's been you know festering everywhere so I've had a really good clean all around with Henry of course the carpets the floors now this nozzle I did use the pro kit with the three tools which includes the full-size aero brush and it includes a small one and it includes this floor nozzle. Now I used this once because I couldn't lay my hands on the regular carpet and floor nozzle, but I didn't really like it. Um, I prefer the regular carpet and floor nozzle for my hard floors. So I did use it once. It's not as flexible. It seemed a little bit harder to push somehow. So all in all really, this nozzle is very good for both carpets and hard floors. It was okay on pet hair, but sometimes it did sort of roll the pet hair up rather than picking up straight picking it up straight away so as i said i've used the aero brush a few times but most of the time i have been using the regular carpet and floor nozzle it's a very good nozzle and of course i've used throughout the course of the month i've used all the small tools that come with the henry allergy 
So all in all, it's been good, it's been okay. It does get caught on the, um, sorry, he does get caught sometimes on the, um, the door frames and bits of furniture and he has toppled over. This part here sometimes gets a bit caught and you have to tug him along. But all in all, I've really quite enjoyed using this and because it's the allergy version, I know that the air that's been coming out of Henry's backside, or here, has been very, very clean. Okay, so all in all, I've quite liked using this. I certainly prefer the more compact shaped Henry's to the full size ones. It just makes it that little bit easier to handle, a little bit lighter. It is a bit awkward carrying everything up the stairs. I have two flights of stairs in my house. So sometimes it is a little bit awkward to carry everything to uh, clean the other floors. But all in all, I've quite enjoyed using it. So, sorry, using him, I'm so, shh, cover your ears. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I know, you, yes. What? I won't call you it anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay, let's take Henry's hat off and see how much dirt he's managed to gobble up. One advantage, of course, of using a bagged cleaner and a bagged cleaner with a large capacity bag is I haven't even had to look at the dirt for the whole month. When I'm using a bagless cleaner throughout the month, I have to keep checking I'm not going over the max fill line and it has to be emptied frequently. But Henry has been left and I'm sure Henry will clean for another two or three, four months even before I have to change the bag. But he will be getting a new bag inside because whatever he's picked up last month, I'll be keeping and showing you all the dirt I've picked up throughout the course of the year. I'll be doing a special video probably in January. So, of course we've got the old HepaFlow bag. And to try and avoid too much spillage, I'm going to empty it like this, or take it out like this. And then we can close the little cap over to keep the dirt in. So all in all, that's pretty clean. That's a whole month, normal use, no extra dirt put down and it still remained pretty clean. So the HEPA flow bags do a very good job actually of keeping the dirt in. As well as of course the HEPA flow, that's your first filter, we do have this pre-motor filter. And of course, what's new with the Henry Allergy is the post. Now I thought this was pre when I first unboxed this, but it is actually a post motor filter. It doesn't have two pre motor. It has a post motor filter, the final filter I'm about to show you. So that traps any of the very fine dust that, that has managed to pass through the HEPA flow bag and the other filter. It also traps any carbon dust that the motor has produced. So we'll have a look at the filter. It should be a little bit blacker than it was due to the carbon dust. So the inside of the filter, that's where you can just about see it's only been a month of use and it's been used nearly every day. It's starting, just starting to go a little bit black. But you can see the outside of the filter, that's still pretty clean. I think this filter will last a long time. I'm not sure what the recommendation for replacement is. I'm pretty sure it's not washable. So I know that the air that's been coming out, it gets an A rating for dust emissions. So the air that comes out of this filter is very, very clean. And we can see inside here, look, as well, how clean that is after a month's use. So it's very good. I would certainly recommend this Henry over a standard Henry if you have allergies. If you haven't got allergies, if you're not bothered about uh, a lower dust emission rating then get a regular Henry. The performance will be virtually the same between the models and it's a little bit cheaper a regular Henry but if you really want clean air even if you don't have allergies then really the allergy version is the way to go and it is nice even though I don't have any allergies it is nice knowing that all the dirt that's been picked up with the Henry has stayed inside the Henry. Okay, speaking of the dirt, what I need to do, and I forgot to do, is get a new empty HEPA flow bag, because I need to weigh the empty one before I weigh the one with dirt in, so I can see exactly how much dirt that the Henry allergy has picked up. 
Now I'm using the same scales that I've used throughout the year and more or less in the same place on the carpet. I did get a comment saying, well, won't the carpet affect the accuracy of the scale? But you know, this isn't a scientific test and all the results are taken in the same place with the same scale so we can compare them. Okay, so we'll see how heavy an empty HEPA flow bag is. An empty HEPA flow bag weighs 35 grams. So we need to deduct 35 grams from the weight of the dirt in this bag. Now the current winner throughout the year, the cleaner that's picked up the most dust and dirt currently is the SIBO X7 and that picked up 330 grams. Not sure if this is going to beat it. Right, it's back to zero. Let's see how much Henry Allergies picked up. So it's got 330 to beat. Oh, hang on, let's make sure it's on the scale. Right, it's on, yes. Okay, so 220 grams less 35 grams is, <laughs> is it 185? I'll have to work that out. So yes, I was right, it is 185 grams. So nowhere near as good as the SIBO X7, which is the current winner. I can't tell you all the weights of the other uh, cleaners picked up, but I will at the end when I do that full video, I'll be taking every bag. So there'll be 12 bags of dirt, some in a bag, some in a polythene bag because they were bagless and I've written on them the, uh, the weight and the cleaner. So I'll be able to tell you right at the end, but so far the SIBO X7 is winning, but this month's vacuum might beat the SIBO. We'll see. So there we are. That's what Henry Allergies picked up. So now it's time to introduce vacuum of the month for November. Now, as I said, this is the penultimate vacuum of the month. Next month, you get to choose. So if you follow me on my Facebook page, towards the end of this month, I'll be giving you a list of maybe 10 different vacuum cleaners, some new, some vintage, and the vacuum cleaner that gets the most votes will be used in December. So don't forget to follow me on Facebook if you want to take part in that poll. Okay, I'm just going to clear the decks and wheel in vacuum of the month for November. Well, this is what I've chosen, the Miele Dynamic U1 Allergy Upright Vacuum Cleaner. So, being an allergy model, I think it's still got an A rating. I'm going to get the same sort of filtration as the Henry gave me, but in an upright. So I'm going to have the benefit of an electrically operated rotating brush. So there should be no problem with the pet hairs. The brush can be turned off, so there should be no problem cleaning hard floors as well. And it's got a good set of tools and a relatively long hose. I don't think this reaches quite up the stairs, but nearly. But it's got a good long hose, a nice long extension uh, wand on the side, crevice no nozzle, dusting brush, and a upholstery nozzle, variable speed so I can adjust the suction. Um, and all in all, I think I'll quite enjoy it. It's quite a big machine, best suited to homes with lots of carpet, or smaller homes that aren't cluttered, full of vacuums. At the moment, it has got a fairly full bag in it because I've been using it for demos and things and, and using it to pick up dirt out of other vacuums, which I normally use Henry for. So I couldn't find them. I know I've got loads, but I couldn't find them. I've ordered another packet of these from Amazon. They're coming tomorrow. So I'll use this, start using this tomorrow on the second. So it won't matter because obviously it doesn't matter if I don't have to vacuum every day. So I will be fitting a brand new bag before I start using this as my vacuum of the month. So there we go, all in all, I'm quite looking forward to using an upright because I have certainly taken advantage of Henry last month with the extra long hose and all the attachments to do a lot of the above floor stuff. 
So my carpets may have been neglected slightly. It'd be interesting to see how much dirt this picks up because of a feeling that Henry might have left some dirt in the carpet that Nutcrite would remove. Although I think from memory, they both get C rating for dust pickup from carpet. But I know that this machine will score much better on picking up pet hair than the Henry without the turbo nozzle. So there we go. It's always been a bit iffy that bag door on these. But anyway, it's once it's closed, it's uh, pretty solid. Hang on, I've not got the bag in properly. As I say, it'll have a new bag in it tomorrow as soon as Amazon deliver. There. Right, that's vacuum of the month for November. So don't forget, follow me on Facebook and you can vote what vacuum I'll be using for my final vacuum of the month in December. Now, before I go, just got a couple of things to chat to you about and um, that'll be it for today's video. Now, as a lot of you will probably know, certainly if you're watching this video up to this point, I am a vacaholic. Now, there are no support groups for vacaholics. If you're an alcoholic or you're hooked on drugs or, I don't know, shopping, there are support groups for you. But for us vacaholics, there are no support groups. We just have to muddle through the best we can and try and heal ourselves. So being a vacaholic, I've acquired far too many vacuum cleaners to fit in my house and even to fit in my mum's house. I have vacuums up to the ceiling in this house, in the garage, and my mum's attic is also full, and her garage actually, it's got some of my vacuums in. So something has to give. So I am getting rid of initially 50, around 50 vacuums, but by the end of it, I think at least three times that amount will have to go. I'm gonna keep a core collection. There may still be 100 vacuums in my collection, but I'm going to try and keep it to 100. So if I want to buy a vacuum, one vacuum has to go. I can't start building up the collection again unless I win the lottery and have a huge mansion to put them in but that's not that likely. So I am starting to list on eBay. There is a link to my eBay page below this video and I've also put links on my Facebook page and I will be, as I'm selling different vacuums, I will link them. And there's also a new community tab on YouTube that I've only just discovered. So I'll be putting things on that as well. So I'll be telling everyone when I'm selling and what I'm selling. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's only to the UK. Now, if you live in another country, especially America or Canada, and you're interested in one, I can find a quote for the shipping, which will be quite high, but you also have to bear in mind but that you'll need some sort of a transformer. You know my American vacuums that I use, I have to use that black box to convert the American vacuums from 120 volts up to 240. Well, it's the other way around with you, because I'll be selling vacuums that work on 240 volts, so you will need some sort of adapter. So if you're aware of that, if you've imported a vacuums from UK before, and you want one vacuum that I'm selling, then by all means get in touch with me on eBay and I'll get a quote for you. As long as you know that, it can be quite an expensive business, as I know, and this course says import charges, so it does work out quite expensive. But I will, uh, I'm not going to list them as worldwide shipping, just UK only. As I said, contact me on the eBay page if you're really, really interested and I'll get you a, a quote. These are just, um, well, this Varenta Tinixo is currently on sale on eBay. Two here aren't, you've never seen this one. This is from the palette. Remember the palette I bought, is it two years ago now nearly? You've not even seen this. This is a Goblin Handy. It's more or less new. It had a bit of rust on the pipes. I've managed to clean it up. I'm making a little demo video of this before I sell it. So that will be coming up. And this one, um, another collector was after this Goblin 1000 or Goblin Omni. He, so far he hasn't got back to me. So if he doesn't get back to me in the next couple of days, I'll be putting this on eBay as well. Plus lots, lots more. As I said, there's at least 50 to go, hopefully before Christmas. And then as I sort through them, there'll be more. But please don't ask me to sell a particular vacuum because there's a lot that I am keeping for now, at least. Um, so just keep updated with what with my eBay page. I'll be printing, uh, not printing, notifying you when I upload um, something else, you know, um, to sell. 
So just keep an eye on my eBay page and you'll see what I'm offering. So please don't keep saying, oh, I want to buy this and that because A, I probably won't be selling it. If it's something that's very collectible that I've spent a lot of money on or something I wanted, I certainly will be keeping it for the time being. A lot of the initial vacuums I'm getting rid of are just ones that don't really go. They're not part of a, a collection. So for example, I'll be keeping most of my older Hoovers and Electroluxes and some of the more unusual individual models. But a lot of the other models that I've made videos of and no longer want to keep, I'll be putting on eBay. Finally, Christmas is a coming. I'm still in two minds whether to do the advent videos. It takes a lot of work. I probably will, because I know a lot of you like that, but it means 24 videos. Oh, somebody's killing a child outside. Never mind. Um, it still means me doing 24 videos and it's a lot. So I need to start making them in the next few days. So at least I have maybe 10 or 15 already done for the 1st of December. If I can manage to do that, then I will continue. And you will see 24 videos um, from December the 1st to Christmas Eve. And then of course, you'll see me strangling that child who's outside. Um, you probably can't hear it, but I can hear a lot of screaming, probably, probably full of sugar and E numbers after last night's Halloween binge. Right trying to <laughs> I've got to continue I'm not I'm not going to do this again so Christmas yes so there'll be 24 probably had advent videos and then my Christmas Day video which I've, I've done for the past few Christmases where I've been very kindly bought some gifts from some of my viewers so I'm going to do that again I have opened an Amazon wish list there's a link below there's I've put links to it in other places on other social media so if you'd like to choose something from that wish list I've put a lot on some very expensive stuff and some cheap things and also some gift cards if you just want to give me an Amazon gift card for 10 pounds or something um you know it doesn't matter it's the thought that counts anyway there's about 20 30 things on there I don't expect to get most of those but if you would like to contribute something then you have the option I don't ask for handouts I don't ask for patreon I don't ask for money normally so this is just once in a year where I will accept some gifts from you if you're kind enough to want to give me something I know I get so much and a lot of you probably think oh I'm not getting him anything he's got loads but some of you do like to say thank you for my videos that I've been doing for these past few years so if you'd like to choose something for the wish list, I'd be very grateful. Don't forget, you don't have to say who you are. You can be anonymous, but it is nice if you put a little message, say who you are. And then of course, on my Christmas day video, I'll open, because I wrap everything up, even if it's gift box, I'll wrap it up. Um, I'll open it all and you'll see that on Christmas day and I'll thank you personally on my Christmas day video. But no, there's no obligation. If you can't afford don't worry about it if i don't get anything i'll just buy myself something and open it but uh, i'm sure there's a lot of generous people out there so i've had some lovely things in the past and in fact i've had things that i've not even opened yet that are nearly a year old um mark leslie um has bought me a, a hoover pure power mark i'm sorry that's still in the box i will try and get that open before christmas and there's a i can't remember um, the chappie's name who's, who bought me um, another little Amazon vacuum. I'm sorry I've forgotten your name. I'll remember it when I actually do that. That's still in the box. So you can see I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> anyway, thank you for everyone in the past and in the future that uh, has bought me something. It's much appreciated. So that's it for today's video. Um, Yes, the V10, I'm still hoping to get a V10 for everyone who keeps saying when you're getting a V10. Um, if I don't get one supplied by AOAO.com, they did say that they'd put me on the list, but if for some reason I don't get one, I might have to buy one myself. Very.co.uk has just got them in and I can get discount from Very, so I can get the abs absolute version for considerably cheaper. Um, then uh, you know you can buy it normally with my staff discount so that's a possibility I might might actually buy one myself but I'm not in a rush to buy one hopefully AO.com will send me one as they said they would but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not going to bank on that you know just in case they decide 
for any reason they're not going to get them in or they won't send me it but anyway if I get one you'll see it of course but there's an awful lot now just before I go this has already gone on for too long but you're, if you're still watching your big vacuum fans because I'm selling around 50 odd vacuums initially I a lot of them haven't even had demo videos so I will be making quick demo videos of all the vacuums I'll be selling if they haven't had a full demo so um, I'm gonna be busy they're not gonna be full proper half hour demos but they'll they'll be showing the machine working um, and then I can clean them up and then let them go to a new owner so at least they'll have been featured the unboxing and some sort of a demonstration would have been featured on this channel that's all then for today it's a bit of a rush this is actually November the 1st. I meant to do this yesterday, but I didn't have time. So within a few hours, you'll actually see this. So this is this is what I look like now on November the 1st, 2018. Fat and ugly and bald. Still the same. But uh, anyway, we've all got our cross to bear, haven't we? Oh, also, if I, do, if I don't do the advent videos, but I probably will, I'll be doing shout out videos as I do every year at Christmas. So if you're a young VAC fan or a parent of a very young VAC fan, you'll, be, you'll have the opportunity to send a picture um, of your little vacuum fan and I will say hello to him or her, probably him, um, in a special video near Christmas. And I'll do one for the older vacuum fans from sort of ages, I don't know, 12 to 80 if you want to shout out and you've got a question. So I'll be doing some of those in the Advent series. So if you've seen my other Advent series videos, it'll be much the same sort of thing. Different unboxings, I'll be showing you different knickknacks. It'll be like a show and tell, um, 24 videos. I'm already tired just thinking about it, but I'll do it for you and I'll do it for you, Glyn Roberts, who keeps going on about it. Um, but anyway, Glyn's a big supporter of uh, my channels and uh, Mr. Rusty's channels as well, channel, Mr. Rusty Skull. So, thanks for watching. Tune in same time next month to see how the Miele Dynamic U1 did. And we'll also get to see what you've chosen as Vacuum of the Month for December. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.